Hi, Sam here. Still a little under the weather, but we're gonna try and plow through. Um, welcome to Tagmas. I am here to do a tag. I was tagged <laughs> almost a year ago, so a little late. And some of the tags that I'm gonna be performing later this month are probably older or about the same age. So yeah, there's that. Um, this is a tag by, um, the, I was tagged by Scott and Nell over at Gun, Gunpowder Fiction Blog. <clears throat> and um, this is a tag by Shelby Asako. It is the, not a booktube newbie tag. I keep saying booktube newbie tag. I am definitely not a booktube newbie in any light. And um, we'll prove that with question one. <laughs> How old is your channel? Um, I had to look this up. It's technically three and a half years old. Uh, my channel was, the first video I posted was actually May or May or June of 2018. Ah, okay. <laughs> and then I left that up for like six months and didn't post anything else until like a year later. I took that first video down and then I never launched the other video, which was um, a TBR for uh, the reading rush. <laughs> and then um, and then I, I started posting more regularly in January 2020. So technically a year-ish <laughs> or two years. It's good. Well, almost two years now, like semi-regularly, but three years ish <laughs> give or take number two what are your favorite videos to make i never watch these videos but i absolutely like making the single book reviews there's a lot more prep work involved and i think there's it's because of that that i enjoy it because i really like a process whereas like doing something like a tag which could be just like off the cuff um or even like a monthly wrap up or something like that, which I also haven't done in a while. Um, those, you just, I just need to know the list of books that I have, but generally with a, a full on book review, my favorite one, by the way, is the one I did for Oval back in, I think, February of 2020, because I crafted a, um, a macrame project that was inspired by the book. It's to make a little, it was a little glass terrarium and it, it was a macrame Older for the terrarium. I loved that project. It was, it was fun. Anyway, yeah, I like the single book reviews. I haven't done one in a long time, but there's just something about those reviews that um, I know no one's gonna watch them, or very few people will watch them because I mean, I think people are generally afraid of spoilers, but um, even when you don't, even when you tell someone there's not gonna be any spoilers. They kind of want to go in it a uh, book blindly but um yeah i've made a couple of those and i really enjoyed them and there were a couple more that i really wanted to make last year but i shouldn't have the energy what's one piece of advice that you would give to someone wanting to join booktube um don't do what i did you're kind of a fighting against a an algorithm so you have to post a little bit more regularly than what i would do and i suggest banking a bunch of videos and then releasing them over the course of a week um, or two weeks or so, and then, you know, keep filming in the meantime. Um, I think it was actually Scott and Nell that recommended filming on a weekend or when you have time off and then, um, just editing, like doing a whole bunch of videos and at once, and then just releasing them throughout the week or so. But yeah, if you have enough content to start with, that helps <laughs> quite significantly. Um, since joining book since joining have you run into any unforeseen challenges yes i have in short mechanical issues with my cell phone both getting videos from um iMovie to save onto the phone because i ran out of disk space or whatever they call it and then um also i have issues with the sound i'm actually recording off a new phone i got a mini recently so that's why you can hear me kind of i'm congested still but you know fuck it 
Um, and then other issues I've had are energy related. I guess burnout. And I think that's common with a lot of YouTubers, but I was overworking myself at the end of last year, actually at this time. This is when I started to fall off the map and I just took like three months off. Um, and then I took another like three months off this summer. It's, it's just, it can be draining. Um, especially me with, I don't know, I, I was overworked and I got a new job in the beginning of the year, but I'm still working two part-time jobs. So, um, yeah, it's, it's still time consuming, but anyway, so yes, there's been a lot of problems. <laughs> what is a favorite book or series you read because of book two? Um, it's actually, I, no particular book stands out with exception to maybe Girl, Wooden, or Girl Woman Other, um, because when I read that, I realized that I really like some of the Booker books and that there's a lot of the Booker winners that were on my, like, virtual TBR in some capacity. So I started following the Booker channel, like I was challenging myself to read the short list. And um, that's not something I would have done on like on my own without the aid of book two because it's kind of started getting me to read more books that I wouldn't gravitate to. Number six, overall, what are your favorite aspects of book two? Of course, it's the community. And I know everyone says that and everyone says that everyone says that, but it's, it's, ju it's just true. You make new friends and you form new um, social circles in a way. And they're from all over the world and it's actually really it's it's warming and it's nice because you all have this thing in common but you're all such different people and it's really cool to see how other people's lives are like all around the world it's really neat and I don't know it's it's like a newfound family so mm. um number seven want to spread the book to love yes of course that's great Give at least one newbie a shout out. I have a list. Okay. I am going to shout out. Who am I shouting out? Aaron Facer. You just recently followed me. And your channel's a couple months old. Or it's like six or seven months old. Or maybe eight months old. So, welcome. <laughs> nice to put you on the spot. <laughs> anyway. I'm tagging you because next I gotta tag people. Um, you're tagged, so in a few months or even now, if you want, I guess, because <laughs> you've been around. Um, I'm also gonna tag Ed at Gagging for Lit because I think that you've been posting book-related content for about a year now, and I don't know if you've done this tag. I went through your list. I also went through Kevy, Kevy at Say Kevy. Um, I don't think you've done this either. I know you've been. Uh, YouTuber for probably longer than I've actually had an account, but um, I think you've been only posting bookish content for roughly a year now. So you two, you're it, or you three actually, you're you're all it, all it. Okay. Anyway, that's it for today. Thank you so much for um, subscribing and showing the love and the likes and the blah blah blahs, <laughs> whatever. But um, I'm, I'm getting better. <laughs> I'm getting better. So I'll be seeing you around with either another tag video or something else. I don't know. We'll see.